travel foods. For us, it's so important that we eat right wherever we are. So we take a little time, not much, to create travel foods that make us feel amazing. I'm going on a trip to visit my sweet niece and a friend in Salt Lake City, and I'm going to make some food. So I'm going to start with fresh fruit, cut it up, because then it will go through their scams, and I'll add lettuces to it, squeeze lemon over it, so it will get brown, and add a little balsamic. That'll be a great meal. <laughs> and then I'm baking these white potatoes. I'll take those in a tub, and they'll be delicious. They don't need anything, but I might put a little no salt seasoning and pepper on them, and maybe a little paprika. That would be good, yeah. And then I'm gonna take a few of these rice cakes in case I want something crunchy. And that's all I need. I mean, it's probably more than enough. So there are lots of travel foods. Bill went on the trip recently. He'll share what he took. Yeah, when I went to Optimum Health at uh, the end of January, I eat more than kind. So I took a burrito. And so that's easy to, to put together and just uh, wrap up or have in a Ziploc. And that could be a vegetable wrap as well. That works good. And that was a burrito you made at home. Yeah, a burrito. All burrito. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, so then I take a baked yam. And yams, unlike potatoes, they're kind of gooey. And so what I do with the yams is I'll bake it whole rather than cutting it. And I put it then in a Ziploc after it's cool. So when I'm on the plane, I open it up and I kind of push it from the bottom. It's like eating one of those pop, but remember those little ice cream things yeah. you push up from yeah. the bottom and you, and you never have to touch it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's whatever you call those. And so then I have a yam and then I would take a green salad because that makes such a difference to me when I travel, if I get my greens in. And that's quite simple to do. Um, the liquids, of course, you're limited to whatever it is, one and a half ounces or something like that. So we can take a little tiny bottle of like the balsamic vinegar or something. So I don't have to put it on early. Because sometimes if we dress it early, then it gets a little wilty. So that works well for me. And it seemed like there was one other thing that I told oh, uh, veggie sticks, just plain veggie sticks, yeah. like carrots. Cucumber, peppers. peppers. You could even do broccoli, cauliflower. Yeah, yeah and, and it's just wonderful. We used to, our favorite was taking a tub of hummus with the veggie sticks, but they have reclassified hummus, peanut butter, all those pastes and that down from three and a half ounces to just one, what, one ounce or something, whatever the liquid is. They've started to classify them with the liquids. So that put an end to our hummus routine, but that used to be the thing. So now I just take the sticks, three of the hummus, and away we go. Yeah, and another thing that's really easy is nuts or seeds or a mixture with raisins. That's a great snack to yep. you often enjoy. Mm -hmm. And that's easy to get through. So if you're going to travel, all you have to do is spend a little time and you can take your food with you. So you, uh, the airport food generally is the worst of the worst. <laughs> Although in some airports you can buy an apple or an orange, that's great. Banana, that's very good. But we like to take our food with us. It makes such a difference to us when we're traveling because you've got just the, I don't know, it's kind of draining a, a bit to travel by plane and the airports and, and everything that's involved. And it has made such a difference in our experience 
when we have whole foods, fresh whole foods to eat uh, along the way, it just maintains that clarity. And, and it's kind of cute, you know, I'll have my food out as a stewardess is going back and forth with their little trays and you can buy potato chips and all this other stuff. And they always look like, that looks good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> so it's the way that we travel um, lightly, inexpensively, and in a really healthy, energizing way. So the recipe is so good. It's two bunches of kale. Take away the stem, chop it fine, and add a peanut butter dressing. It's really good. Yeah, we went back for seconds. We had it for lunch yesterday. It's like we took our usual portion, but we got for good. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. We'll see you again next week. And Kai will be coming in from Salt Lake City. Yeah. We'll get together virtual. Yeah, see you next week. Bye.